clouds. Few seconds later, the bell rang. Dang! I looked straight into the eyes of my opponent and took the lead attack. Boom, boom, boom! But I missed it completely. Now it was his turn. Few swift blows, and I was gone. The crowd cheered. Abhi Sheikh, Abhi Sheikh, Abhi Sheikh. I was re energized and two power pack punches, and there he was on the floor. I had won it. Suddenly, my wife Divya came from behind and whispered in my ear, Abhi, get up, it's already 9 30. Condition and fellow dreamers, our dreams in our slumber can make the impossible possible. We can even fly like a superman or even day, I should have right. But when we dream with our eyes split wide open and our mind in full consciousness, it is when we decide the fate of our future. But is dreaming enough? No. We need to keep it alive. When I was in standard nine, I remember that I was a brilliant, I was a brilliant student with sharp brain. And it was good enough to impress a few girls around. But had there been a speech contest at that time, all my impression would have gone down the drain. I was selected for an assembly speech. I went up to the stage. I picked out my script and with a tremble in my voice and shiver in my knees, I poured out the words as fast as I could. I could not look up as I had neither courage nor confidence. More than 500 pairs of eyes all gazing at me and I had no clue how to respond to it. That night when I retired to bed, I indulged in a solid way. You think you are a big smart chap? You made a fool out of yourself today. The better side of me replied, well I was never taught how to face this situation, but I promise that I will be a good speaker one day. The dream was seen. What I had to do more was just keep it alive. Often in our life, when we have a big dream, we see that people and situations around try their best to knock us down and crush our dreams. Has it happened with any of you before? It happened with me. A couple of years back, I dreamt of owning a bar. Hold on, a juice bar. I went and told my father. He replied back, I made you an electronic engineer so that you can serve juices and sandwiches. I went and told my friends. What did they say? Food line, you've gone nuts. You think it's that easy? Don't even try it. I was depressed, dejected. I did not know what to do. But suddenly I remembered that I had to keep it alive. I went and told my father, well, it's better to sell juices than alcohol. I went and told my friends, if it's not easy, who's here to do easy things in life? I will do it. And yes, my friends, I did it. Today, in my shop, when my customers come and say, Hey, it's a great concept. We loved it. It was much needed in Guwahati. My heart fills with joy. Remember, ninth standard of Vishay. For many years, his claustrophobia was still alive in him. But 
For many years, the claustrophobia was still alive in him. But through some spiritual practices and meditation, he somehow gathered courage to plunge into his dreams. Forget what people would say. Forget what will happen. Just go for it. There's grit and determination in me. Led me to the path to my dreams in the form of Toastmasters. Yes, friends. In just two years' time, I converted from a dumb speaker to a daring speaker. If once a student, Shomen, who was a backbencher in his class, can today lead the club from front as President Shomendu. If once, little Neha, who was all blank on the stage in her childhood, can today give lessons to people double her age, how to speak. If once, Abhishek, who was sunk in the vision of darkness, can today look into the eyes of each one of you what did we all do with our dreams? We have to just keep it alive. If I can do it, he can do it, she can do it, even you can do it. What you need to do is just dream big and keep it alive. Honestly.